In our previous video, we have seen a very simple example of how to add two numbers and write a cucumber feature and a scenario for that. In this video, we are going to write our first Selenium based automation script using Cucumber. Some of the assumptions we are making here is you have completed setup Ruby, setup Selenium, setup Cucumber, setup first project and you have written your first Cucumber scenario. The steps in this video are the same listed down on the link first selenium water script. You can as well follow this link and complete um, writing the first selenium script. The code is posted both as a feature file and as step definitions Ruby code. On your screen what you look is the Ruby mine editor. So as we have done in the first cucumber scenario where we added two numbers we would do the same right click on the features file we would do a new file first selenium dot feature keep the keyword feature and I would like to describe it as launch browser and open selenium framework My scenario on the other hand will be open selenium framework website and print title URL and page source. I would describe the behavior in two simple steps. When I open selenium framework website then I print title URL and page source. As you can see, if we execute the scenario at this point in time, it would just open the browser and close and it would fail because we haven't written the automation code behind this. So let's go ahead and write the automation code. What would you do? You would click on the when I open Selenium Web's site step and then press alt enter on your keyboard it would pop up this context menu you would click create step definition and either we could use an existing file but i would like to keep it simple so i would create a new file and i would like to call it the same name as what i have called my feature file first selenium and say okay and as you can see the first selenium ruby file is created and I, as soon as i created this the template for that step is also added i will repeat the same for the second step now i will need to write the code so here is the first selenium based script where we would open a url so we would say browser dot go to and then we pass the URL of the website. In our case, it is selenium And how do we print the title? In in Ruby Selenium, it is pretty easy uh, to get the title, URL, and page source. So here, what I would do is first I get the title. Title is browser.type then I would get the URL. URL would be browser.url and page source would be browser.html. So what I have done here on line 6 is I got the browser title and assigned it to a variable title similarly for the URL and page source. Let me go ahead and print this so that I know I got the right title or not. So I would say title is and as we have seen in video 1 if we want to print a variable inside a string we would give it in this format a hash and a squiggly brace and then we pass 
the lady with me here. Okay. You are a lease. Paid sources. Paid source. Now I'll go ahead back to my feature file and execute it. As you can see, it opened the Chrome window and it has typed in seleniumframework.com and then it printed what, it, what we wanted it to print. So let's look at the output. As you can see, it says scenario passed, two steps passed. It took about 15 seconds to complete the overall scenario. Let's scroll all the way to the top of the console window and here it is, the title is Selenium Framework, the URL, and then the page source. This completes the video for the first Selenium-based Ruby script using Cucumber. Thank you very much.